Put that home stand behind us, and teams got to play better, right? We got Buffalo tonight, Islanders tomorrow night, and got to get we got to get four out of the next four points. I mean that that's just how it is. So a lot of lineup changes tonight, right? Hoffman's on the top line, um, Dadenoff's down to the third line. And speaking of the third line, Malgin is in, and Borgstrom is scratched. And now I know Borgstrom hasn't exactly been lighting it up, but personally, for me, if you want to send a message. Send a message to one of the veterans. I think it's three games in. Borkstrom hasn't been bad. It's just his line hasn't produced a whole lot. But there's a couple defensemen that are veterans that have been pretty freaking bad. That I, I would think that maybe it'd be a better way to send a message. Maybe Ekblad or maybe break Yandel's streak. And tell him, you know what? <laughs> Sorry, dude. You're not cutting it. Sit your ass down. But, so I, you know, I mean, I know coaches, they don't like to do that to veterans. But I thought Q was like this real hard-ass Stanley Cup winner. And, you know, it's real easy to kick Borkstrom in the nuts. But, you know, I would like to see our coach have the balls to sit one of the veterans. So, that's just me. All right, guys, look. Bobrovsky in goal. I can't speak. Bobrovsky in goal. I, I, I'm going to try to say it again. We're going to get two damn points, all right? I don't care. I don't care what I said. I'm going back on my promise. We're getting two points. And I'm not going to sit here every intro and pretend that we're not going to get it. That would just be retarded. So, we're getting two points. And if we don't, y'all can just... It ain't my fault. I ain't taking the blame this time. Oh, we're not losing. All right, so no score after one. Uh, we looked pretty good for about the first six or seven minutes, and then Buffalo woke up, and they've pretty much dominated puck possession the rest of the period. Um, if it wasn't for Bobrovsky, it's at least, what, 2 3 nothing. We did have some good chances early on, but apparently tonight we are in pass the puck five times before we take a shot mode, which is, you know, I mean, it, it, it's typical. Same guys, uh, Huberto, Barkov, Trocek, Ekblad. <laughs> Ekblad had the puck. He's skating right towards the net, had a wide open shot and passes the puck, trying to get to Hoffman. And Hoffman now doesn't really look that good on that top line. Uh, I don't think he really fits with Huberto and Barkov's passing style. Just my opinion. Now he'll probably score three, so y'all can thank me for that. All right, not going to bitch too much because it's no score, but if we keep playing like this, I mean, it's a shooting gallery, and possession-wise, you know, Buffalo dominated the second half of that period, so we just don't look like we are emotionally invested in these games. We just we just don't look like, like, like we should. Definitely don't look like we should. I don't know what the answer is, guys. Go on to the second period. Hopefully this team wakes up. Alright, so we almost get out of the second period, and Buffalo gets, what, like, their third power play, fourth power play, however many it's been, and like 35 fucking seconds left, and I was all set to come on and say that Matheson looked pretty good this period, and then he lets his man get behind him, and okay, if, if that's not bad enough, well, it's a good thing Barkov's on the ice for with him, but except Barkov is just, like, totally missing in action. And, and, and Barkov pulls like an eggplant or a yandel and just kind of waves his stick at the guy like it's going to be a magic fucking wand, like Mary fucking Poppins. And nothing happens. And finally, Bob lets one in, and it's one nothing Buffalo. And 
Look, I, I don't know what the hell is going on with Barkov. If if he's hurt, my apologies, dude. All right, no problem. But if if you're just if you're just still coasting through the summer, um, wait the fuck up, man. This is this is your play has been atrocious. Okay, I'm sorry. I know he's got a couple assists or whatever, but the dude is just not playing anything remotely close to what we're used to. So. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's hurt. I know people have, have have floated that out there as a possibility. But he looks terrible, and his effort level is just not there. And that's the part that is kind of worrisome. So, other than that, Bobrovsky has saved the game for us. But you know, um, their goalie Omar Omar. Omar, Omar, Omar I'm not even going to try. I can't talk tonight. I cannot talk tonight. Throat is going on me. So <laughs> we're going to go on to, and 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 hopefully, look, dude. Overtime, all right? It's going to be one of those games where I'll I'll take the point right now, and I know some of you are ready to bitch slap me for that, but right now, i just take a point so we don't lose. Get us to overtime. Have some fun with that. But, you know, one other thing about this team, this looks like a good team to play against in the playoffs. That would be a fun uh, seven games, and, this, and whoever would win that series ain't going to go very far because it looks like we'd be ready to beat the crap out of each other. Whee! Excuse me. So, <laughs> so, 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 a point. One point. Yeah, that's it's a beautiful thing, you know. How many points on the season? This is this is a good good. Good question for everybody. How many points would we have this year without Mike Kaufman? Yeah, it's one of those nights. How many points would we have without Mike Kaufman? Can I can I hear a zero? <laughs> because that's how many we would have. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I left out the the emergency packet this time. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm going to die right here on camera. All right. So, <sighs> yeah, the, the, I, I'm not even going to edit that out, guys. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say about this team. And I tell you, you know, I know it's just four games in, right? And there's got to be at least, there's got to be at least a half dozen people left. That are gonna say it's still too early in the season. Okay, that's fine. Um, is anybody watching this video see anything different with this team except for goaltending? Because if you do, please leave me a message in the comment section. I'd lo I'd love to hear it. I I I would genuinely love to know. What's different about this team? So what do we got? We got the top line. They're playing like shit right now. Now, I would assume that either Barkoff is hurt or they will eventually pick it up somewhere around game 15, 20. You know, when we're about seven, eight points out of the playoff spot, they'll, they'll turn it on. They'll realize, shit, summer's over, man. It's getting a little cool outside. There's no, no bitches <laughs> in their bikinis at the beach anymore. May as well play some fucking hockey. Second line, what do you got? You got Hoffman, thank God. Trocek, I mean, he looked good. He looked really, really good for about five minutes in game two. Uh, other than that, he 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 completely invisible, except for when he's hogging the puck and circling around the net and around the net and not really doing much of anything. Connolly, well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we paid... Paid him because, you know, we needed another winger on the second line that doesn't score. Kind of balances out Hoffman a little bit, right? You know, I can't have too many guys to score. Third line. 
their line's a fucking mess. Because the kid that's supposed to be, you know, probably supposed to be our up-and-coming second-line center, three games in, coaches, you know, coach benches him for Malgan, which I know some of you are going to say Malgan had a decent game tonight. He, he, did, he did have a few shots. He also had a few moments where he just got shoved off the puck like a little smurf. I don't hate the kid, but he's had his opportunities. Fourth line, damn. If it wasn't for Colton Sevier, is he hurt? He's really been skating slow this year. I don't know if the guy got old or hurt or whatever. But Achari, dude, move him up to move him up at least to the third, maybe even our you know what? Put Achari in Chochek's spot. Yeah, I'm gonna call that. In fact, let me finish this and we'll talk about that. Hmm. I like that idea. Let's put Achari in the second second spot. Move Trocek down. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a good move. Defensively, actually, we weren't all that bad tonight. Um, Matheson was was Matheson was as good as he can be unless he scores, where he has some moments where you're like, boy, I wish you could play like that every night, and then in a few moments where you're like, oh, look, there he is. There's Mike. Okay, <laughs> things are back to normal. Defense wasn't obviously terrible tonight. Bobrovsky played his mind. Dude, he just played absolutely out of his mind. I mean, he made some saves tonight where you, you were you were just sure he was pregnant and boop, boop, nothing came out, you know? It was just it was just a beautiful thing. So we what? We have three points in four games. So what's that? What's that pace? That uh, I don't know, what's it about? What's about about 70 point 70 point pace? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I, I wish I had the mental energy to really sit here and yell and scream and rant and rave. Um, but we gotta have a game tomorrow. We got a game Monday, and you know, it's kind of the same thing all over again. I, I don't know. I saw somebody tweeted out talking about you know, talent has failed and the core is soft. There's something to that effect. I'm not direct quoting, but that was that was the general gist of the tweet. And you know, the, these these guys, you know, they turn it on when we're out of fucking playoffs. Every year, we 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 start off so slow, we end up so far behind, and then they turn it on, and there's all this hope for the next season because of how well we played. You know, the last forty. 40 games, 50 games, 30 games, depending on the year. You know, they really turned the corner. They almost made it. Just got to get over to a slow start, and, and, and here we are again. And how many coaches, right? I mean, the only coach in recent memory that's been able to get this team off to a decent start is Gallant, you know? And even the year we, we, we fucking fired him, he was still off to a better start than anybody's been able to put together since then. <laughs> yes! And just don't even get me started about that whole thing. We, we still don't have, we still haven't replaced. I don't care. I know that this is going to trigger a bunch of people. I don't care. Kiss my ass. We still have not replaced Gabranson and Kulikov. Whoa, shit. There I said it. There it goes, especially on Reddit. They're going to, they're going to eat my lunch on Reddit for saying that. I don't care because we still haven't done it. Because at this point, I don't care. I would rather have Gabranson and Kulikov than, than, than at least. Matheson and Yandel. I say it. I don't care. What 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 what? Yeah. You know, what am I what am I gonna do? Lose lose. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. All right. All right. All right. So look, we got a point. Yeah, I'm a little bit inebriated. I don't really care. But I'll tell you the truth. That this team is doing it to me already. It's four games in, and I tell you what. I'm doing 82 recaps. Right. There's already a few games where I know I'm gonna have to do remote. Recaps, um, but I'm gonna do it because now, now it's 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 sadistic. Now, now it is a challenge to see if I can keep my sanity and my sobriety all 82 games. So, all right, thank you all for watching. Um, we're gonna be back tomorrow, and I don't know, man. I just, I just, I, maybe we'll see Monty tomorrow. Boy, I mean, I love Monty, but if he faces what. If he goes through what Bob went through tonight, it could be like 8-2 by the end of the second period. So, all right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Views have been, everybody's been watching, so it's been fun. We're going to have a good time. 
And hopefully we at least can get the game 75 or 80 before we have to have our annual Oops, we almost came back from the hole we dug at the beginning of the season but didn't make the playoffs video. All right, guys. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.